Hi, I'm Annie Erstling. We're here today at the National Association for Home Care and Hospice Annual Conference. I'm here with Marilee Orsini. She's CEO of Core Cubed. Thanks so much for joining us sure, today. Sure, Annie. Love it. So you've got such a unique perspective on the industry. Um, what are some of the things that your clients are seeing right now and, and what are their challenges in terms of growing market share? Well, the industry, as you know, is changing. And so um, who is purchasing the services is going to change. Um, so that's one thing, who they're targeting is changing. The other thing is that as the consolidations occur and they're uh, competing against larger organizations, they have to up the marketing game. So have to become more professional, all this do-it-yourself stuff <laughs> is, uh, you know, needs to be shelved and they need to hire a professional agency to make them look good. So those are the biggest changes I see. Yeah, so you guys, um, you've been instrumental in building resources and um, talk, talk to us a little bit about Help Choose Home and what that is. Well, Help Choose Home is an initiative that's aimed at consumers because when most people are doing information to the industry, they are selling themselves or selling a product or talking about a specific service. And the, what happens is the consumer doesn't understand home care. If they've not interfaced with it, they don't know what it is. So Help Choose Home is, um, it's podcasts, it's videos, it's, um, it's MIMS, it's different resources that actually allow someone to share those resources that would educate consumers about what is home care, how does one uh, become eligible for home care, how do you pay for home care, Th those kinds of issues that unless you've interfaced with home care you really wouldn't know. Yeah. So marketing has changed a lot just in general over the last you know, yes. 10 to 15 years, especially with the um, introduction of social media. What advice do you have for organizations in terms of what they should be thinking about from a marketing standpoint? Well, I, the, the one thing that people should have is a website. And that website should be very user friendly and it should also uh, be using search engine optimization. Um, and having said that, what that means is, as you probably know, digital marketing is really a combination of things that you're doing and resources and content that you're putting online. So you can take your old print material and all those articles that were written for hard copy newsletters and uh, recycle those and make those digital and add some fabulous visuals to them so that that pushes your message with the visual but that's the that's the the biggest change I see not much print being done yeah mostly all digital yeah no I think that's great that's great advice um so outside of marketing what are um, some of those innovative things you've seen recently in this segment of healthcare I think the interactivity and um, well what you're doing today I mean it's uh, it's content it's information it's paying attention to how you're using the material that you have and making certain that you're hitting all the channels you can, uh, recycling information and sending it to people and sharing it. I mean, it's uh, um, people expect now to, to see organizations. They expect to be able to search for them. They expect to be able to find information about them online. I think that's the, the biggest change. So an agencies, agencies really have to pay attention to that. And if they're not, and if they have an old website, for instance, that's not built in WordPress, if, uh, if they're not on social media, um, those are not using video. I mean, those are the, the kinds of things that, that people need to look at for marketing. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, so authentic leadership is the theme of this conference. Yes. I think it's a pretty great theme. What does that, what does that phrase mean to you? And what does it, um, what opportunity does it have for moving this industry forward? Well, the, um, I was involved in the NAC 2.0 strategic planning process. And the thing that I have loved the best is the transparency um, and the collaborative nature of what's going on. Uh, the making certain that we are not um, in a vacuum, that we are talking about what we're doing, that we are getting everyone's input into what we're doing, that we're moving forward together. Yes, we're competitors, but we there's enough business to go around. If you look at the demographics of what's happening across the world, not just in America, there will be plenty of need. So it, what we have to be able to do is look at a kind of leadership, a gentler, kinder leadership, um, a leadership that operates from the perspective of almost the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And, um, and, and that to me is what authentic leadership is. It's not being in it for yourself, it's being in it for the greater good and being in it for the greater good 
will make everyone better. Absolutely. So last question, what, um, what's, why are you in this industry? What motivates you? <laughs> I got in this industry 37 years ago and it's the serving people. It is the, um, the capacity to age in place, to be in your home in a comfortable surrounding. And I've, um, through my 37 years and 17 of those were in direct care services, I, um, I really watched the peaceful and loving nature of having an end of life with your family or those who love you surrounding you. And also uh, the support that you, one could have to stay at home. So that's, that's what drives me, is, um, is having people understand that there is that availability and that they can access it. And you, you can have care and comfort in your home as you age in place. That's great. You know, I think that we've heard that from so many people, and it's um, this is a segment of healthcare that is truly focused on the patient, and that's yes. really amazing. So, thank you so much for your time. Oh, I really Annie, thank it. you, thank you.